I'm from Paris and Paris. Okay, um, restructuring, uh, to the best of my knowledge, is the, uh, is talking about the distribution of powers and resources of the country. Um, there has been great clamor for restructuring in the past uh, couple of years, and uh, though, the genuine, though the concerns are genuine, I think uh, the priorities are misplaced. Um, we can't go back to the regional system of government because what worked for us in the past cannot work for us today. Uh, the, the, the geographical nature of Nigeria has changed over the years, and the demographic features have also changed. And uh, the citizens of today are different from the citizens of the past. We are more enlightened and uh, we are more educated. And those laws that worked well in the past might not work well today. So I believe, while I believe that uh, it's good to review our constitution. Um, I think reverting to the regional system of government is not encouraged. And uh, uh, our party, uh, the Progressives Alliance of Nigeria, EDN, uh, we have the desire to maintain the existing federal system of government. However, we plan to put in place checks and balances to control the excesses of state government, as well as empower them to exploit their resources to the best of their ability, with partnership with the federal government. Yeah, we don't believe that the federal government should take care of everything. We don't believe that the state government should take care of everything. It should be a mutual partnership, whereby state governments and the federal government come together to invest so that uh, it's going to, at the end of the day, we are going to have something like a profit sharing instead of federal allocation. When we are sharing profit, it motivates the state government to tap into the resources that are available in the state. Uh, Nigeria is so blessed with numerous resources, both human and natural resources. And the federal allocation makes most states lazy, to be honest. And uh, I think by the time that we see this as a business or uh, as an economic point of view, and we actually see this as an investment where the federal government invests on developing the resources of the states. This way, the states will be motivated to bring up tangible projects. And the federal government will be able to exercise its supervisory role and bring in the necessary expertise required to exploit these resources to the best of the, uh, to the most utmost, to derive the utmost benefit of these resources. You are an ICT personnel, right? I have ICT skills, but okay, I... Okay, you read geography. I read geography. and I read exam management. Well, yesterday I was convinced by your presentation. Thank you very much. I must confess to you. Thank you very much, sir. But there's something you will do for me if you pass to the next round. I promise you I'll give you my special handshake. Because I love your confidence. I love your presentation. Thank you very much. I'm not going to ask you a question. I think you will be the only, the only candidate I'm not going to ask questions. Thank you very much. What I want you to do is that we maintain the spirit you have. Thank you very much. Even if we are not the presidential, the pre next president, even if, I'm not praying for you not to win, but even if you are not going to do that, I see you like someone that is going to have, that the country will benefit more from. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, and, uh, well, maybe with time, there are special offers that will come. Mm -hmm. The judges' connection, which I am going to do that together with her personally, but I want to, your intelligence is something very, very special, and I don't want you to be carried away like that. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, please work more on your presentation. But there's something I want you to work more. It's very, very critical. Talk to your electorate so that they can vote for you more. Okay? okay. Uh, they can do that. That is part of the criteria that can save you from the house. Okay? Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Please, I want to ask you a question. What are your four uh, points agenda in relation to yesterday? 
Okay. Uh, the first one is accountability. The second is education. The third is food sufficiency. The fourth is economy. And we have security and youth development. So once again, my name is Yahya Shwebi, and uh, I'm the youth governor for Fara State. Even if I'm sleeping now, I'll know your name. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you.